Hello everyone, welcome to Rainy Day Let's Play. I'm Solon, with me as always for Final Fantasy X2. Is Quince. Quince. What? What? You go first. Quincy Beale. It's Quincy Beale. And, as you all know, Final Fantasy X2, the X2, which stands for Xylophone the Second, is now underway. Uh, when we last left off, we got into episode three of the whole thing, or chapter three, or... Season 3 of Charlie's Angels featuring Yuna from Final Fantasy X2. And what we had was that we're now mercenaries. We're now uh, guns for hire. We don't help anyone unless they pay us. Which I thought was a nice twist. I thought that's kind of what we did before. Wait, no. We no, didn't. they just paid us anyway. Oh, right. <laughs> they just gave us stuff. Because we were uh, treasure hunters. Yeah, they just yeah. liked us. Now we actually like tell them you have to pay us now. And if you don't, you have to leave. Anyway, I'm going to Mushroom Rock Road because, uh, as you could see on there, they have the difficulty setting that's like in the bottom left corner. Uh, well, all of those were four except for that one was one. So I'm going to go to the one with the difficulty rating of one. Good job. Thank you, thank you. These are pro professional strategies for speedrunning that I have come up with <laughs> through... Very difficult trial and error. Hours, really. Um, that guy has a sphere. Hey, my boy. So, Shinra is down here, and he's putting some rocks in the ground. I think he's trying to make a sphere work here. I don't know what that is. Hopefully I'll know later. Where are the fiends? Where are the fiends? Everything's under control. Oh, the Robin. <laughs> Every time. He could play any character, but you're like, oh, it's Robin. Yeah. That kind of made his career amazing, but also solidified him. At the end of Teen Titans, he becomes Nightwing, right? In that one episode. And even then, you're just like, oh, Robin. <laughs> Ass! There is something I would like to ask you. Sorry, I get freaked sure. out when I get interrupted. I think I'm having a deja vu with this scene. Haven't you played this game As before? Probably aware, I don't think I have. From Maven Nuge, our leader, in some time. Lady Yuna, have you no information as to his whereabouts? I'm sorry, but we don't know any more than you do. I see. What is with her turtleneck? We'll tell him to return it's like, she's got this Thank like... You. Yeah, right there. Turtleneck. And then, <laughs> like, nothing else below. It's like, it was kind of chilly out, and I wanted to put, some, put my nice turtleneck on. But did not cover up my legs. I just didn't want to put shorts on today. <laughs> I just was feeling real lazy. I can understand that. Holy moly, this is a busy looking place. Oh, yeah. So we've got tons of stuff happening at the Josie Temple. We've got tons of stuff happening right here. Um, they are trying to basically defend this wall from fiends. Oh. And they're working with the Machina Club or something. It's some kind of like weird cult thing. Everything uh, in this game is a cult thing. <laughs> Hi, welcome to Final Fantasy X2. <laughs> uh, would you like to take a free stress test today? <laughs> because uh, I just want to talk to you for a little bit. Uh, about uh, fiends and how they're everywhere and that you need to stop them. And that uh, you should come with us and not ask any more questions ever don't, again. Don't ask any more questions. But we've got some cool, like, uh, magic spheres. Play dress up. Oh, the little doggy's going back. Where's he going? Going that way. Oh, well, I lost him. <laughs> like that we went on a ride, and the, uh... Oh no. Oh no. We're all gonna die. Uh... Oh god, yeah. No, we fought these things before. These are fine. Have we? Yeah. But I got one better. Greater Drink Over Soul! I'm out of here! They don't need me. Also, and I don't remember us being level 20. Shh, shh. Okay. Shh. I okay. also don't remember much of last time. <laughs> it was all such a blur. 
I remember a massage. Yep. Yep, we definitely got we definitely gave a massage. We did not get one. And there was a lot of moaning in that. Mm-hmm. It was very LaBelle. Pleasing. Or what is that her name? La, 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 La Love? Yeah. We'll just call yeah, her Cruella Love. DeVille. Yes. Yeah, we gave a massage to Cruella DeVille. And we gave her a dang good massage. I only screwed up like twice. I remember twice. this. Because I remember every massage that I've ever given. A memory for those kinds of things. You forgot the one you gave me. No, I didn't. Hear me? I did not. Okay. So meanwhile, at Josie Temple. Hey, it's Sid's little girl. Hey, it's Sid's big boy. You seem close. We made quite the couple. They're, that really looks like Sid right there. Oh, uh, which Sid are you talking about? I don't really. I don't know. A Sid, one of them. If you're here about digging, this isn't the best time. I'm always here about digging. I dig that. I dig over here. I could dig this whole place down. It'd be great. Fiend hunting. What? You guys give up the sphere gig? Temporarily. Right now, we're helping people out. It's really all the same thing. You'd like to hire us? We're interns. Nope. What? Wow. You already took care of sin. Wow. We can't go run That's to true. every time we get into trouble. Hmm, I watch my own back. They would see? Show off. Because we have killed sin on our resume, he won't hire us. He's like, oh, this job's beneath you, obviously. You should go out for that bigger stuff. But we can't get that bigger stuff, because Sin's dead. Yeah, that's true. Like, I don't see any other massive, like, monster obelisks coming to imminently destroy the entire universe. Any incarnations of suffering and death itself? Yeah, yeah. I don't see that happening right here, so, uh, I, like, do still need to make money. Yeah. It'd be great. Understandable. But no. Should never have killed Sin. It's terrible. <laughs> Never should have killed Sin. <laughs> it's been awful ever since. <laughs> it's like when you get that A on your math test in fifth grade, and it's like, hey, why can't you do advanced calculus? It's like, because advanced calculus is bitch. Like, wow, yeah. But you're so good at math. Remember that time in fifth grade? Yeah. I was like, no. I'm only in third grade. <laughs> Not old enough to be in fifth grade yet okay so that was literally all we had to do there oh was just talk to folks that's it yeah we can't do anything else there until after we hit these two hot spots that but you yeah no so, it's kind of weird sounds easy mm -hmm. it's one whole hot spot down yes didn't have to fight for it that's surprising actually given uh, all the uh, other times but now we're in Besaid, and I love Besaid because this is where Waka's at. And, uh, Lulu? Do you have a crush on Waka? Everyone has a crush on Waka. Yeah. Everyone does. Because he's lovely, he's a nice guy. And he's yeah. a dad, and, like, that's super adorable. Or soon to be dad. Yet? No, soon to yeah. be. I was gonna say. To, with, uh, her name's Lulu, right? Yes, Lulu. Okay, okay. Yes. Just make sure I'm not totally off base here. What is going on with her hair? That was kind of cool. They're coming from inside the temple. <laughs> the fiends are coming from inside my brain. <laughs> oh Jesus! Guess your friendly neighborhood gold wings won't be needed. Wow, buddy. Wow. The fiends they missed may still be wandering around. My capitalist senses say that as long as there's money here. Our services are needed. Are on the job. We'll even give you our special bargain price. That's nice. <laughs> Sorry, Lou. Our special bargain price is that That's we pay the tax for you. It's a ten percent discount. Go. Take a look around. Oh, we're really just terrible. <laughs> Actually, the bargain price is full price. We're just saying it's a bargain price. Cause it's a bargain that we're here. Yeah. It's not a bargain that we're here. What you up to? Installing a comm sphere. You never know when you might need a comm sphere. You said it, Shinra, not me. Of yours? I don't 
think that's how the sniffles work. I don't think so either. Here's the perfect guinea pig. Oh, I can see Yuna. What part of Yuna are you seeing from down there? I don't know if I. <laughs> uh, it looks like the boot, actually. The boot. All the boot. Okay, never mind. Emphasis on the N9. I think you got that mixed up. Hmm. Oh no. It's. <laughs> it's Waka, you idiot! <laughs> we saw him like an hour ago. <laughs> we can finish off the fiends right here and now. Ah, burning down a temple is going too far. Burning is it down? Though? Another suggestion? Yeah. What? Ah. That is way too far. We have too to far. do something. What if the fiends keep coming? Or maybe you don't mind putting your family in danger. Oh shit! All we gotta do is stop the fiends, yeah? Holy crap, okay, we're going up a notch in this Final Fantasy game, like, episode 3 of the whole thing, we, like, episode 2 we were here, episode 3 is like, okay, we're either gonna put your family in danger, or we're gonna burn the temple down. And the entire village. I don't think they said the entire village. Oh, uh, I think that would defeat the purpose of the first part. They were saying that it would be the temple, but these people are actually anti Vesade. So it would be the entire village. This temple's dangerous. Good thing we have the youth at our side. You mean the youth league? <laughs> no, not the youth league. They're not at our side. Everyone loves the youth league. Okay, so the whole temple's under besiege from fiends. Mm -hmm. inside, and fighting fiends. we could just burn the whole thing down. It would be so simple to burn this place down and take the fiends with God them. damn! He was destroyed all. Oh! Oh! Wow! You're the one who destroyed sin. You should know. This is straight anti-theist, but then also with the added layer of like, you did kill sin. You know that all of this is fake, right? You see these statues of me and my father? Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> wow! I think that would be the appropriate response to that. It's true. It's true. So we have to protect Besaid Temple. Fiends have appeared deep within the temple where Yuna first trained. Get rid of them before Peklum sets fire to the entire place. Oh. Purge the fiends from the temple before the fiends purge you. Don't you mean before Becklum purges you? Because he's going to be the one that's That would make him quite the fiend. The fiend. A fiery fiend. Oh, huh. well, when you put it that way. Yeah. Doesn't make any sense. No, it doesn't make any sense. But at least we're here. We know what we're doing. Ooh, By the way, this the was in the first game. The first temple that you go inside. Yeah, I actually recognize this because I played, like, one's hours. Once. Uh, oh god. Are you sure you can handle this? Uh, they're gonna kill you. Uh, let's do a reflect, so it'll deflect spells back at the enemy. And was that like a doom or? Yeah, that's a doom. Okay, I'm... it has three. It is seconds. really, really hard to go between the menus and understand what's happening in like the main, like, reading area. Yeah, it is. All the information is up here in the screen, and you have to be stuck glued at this, like, weird menu down here. Yep. Uh-oh. I hear nothing. Okay. So I think I'm doing this right. I magic breaked the haunt. Oh, yeah, it's just, there's just the haunt left. Okay. Let's just kill the haunt then. Wait, is he watering himself? Cause, oh, it's because it's bouncing off of our thing. Yeah. Okay, if he's watering himself, then I'm just gonna thunder him, I guess, right? Yeah, that'll work. All right, we'll just grind it out. Attacks, praise, like, this'll work. 
Boom! Uh, so. Alright! That went really well. Yeah.